the slasher genre. The self-aware comedy of the current era. Michael Myers is in the backseat. Go look. Go look. Go look. Hell no. A little bit of John Wick. <laughs> Halloween kills. This week's Halloween honest trailer kills. is brought to you by D and D Beyond. D and D is for everyone. D and D Beyond makes it easy to play. Register for free at D and D Beyond dot com to start your what? adventure. D and D Beyond, start your adventure. I don't even know what that is. Don't worry, I'll let you know. Guys, it's been rebooted <laughs> so more times than Lieutenant Dangle has returned. New boot goofing. Oh. And oh. after making a killing in theaters, you just a white version one of you. thing is for uh. sure. <laughs> Rather get COVID than sign up for Peacock. Um. Halloween kills. You thrilled as the Strodes faced off against Michael Myers. Now <laughs> get ready to see what literally everyone else in town was up to that night. From Dr. Loomis's nurse to the kid Lori used to babysit to the kid Lori's friend used to babysit to the kid they used to bully the kid that Lori used to babysit of all of Haddonfield will band together to reminisce about that five minutes of scream time they got 40 years ago 40 years ago a madman escaped from a mental hospital he killed my daughter 40 years ago he's infected my family with grief and fear for 40 years Michael Myers has haunted this town for 40 years 40 years ago when I was a kid yeah. we protected did you know it was 40 years ago Michael I think Myers has returned could be 30 extra crispy he'll pick extra up crispy left off, <laughs> mindlessly killing people <laughs> Then very mindfully arranging their bodies in an artful tableau. Hmm, it's missing a certain je ne sais quoi. Perhaps. <laughs> enough. What? The only thing standing in his path what is this movie? His franchise stalwart, Laurie Strode. No, she might as well be in a coma. Okay. Standing in the way of Mike is Allison Strode, the next in line to take over the franchise. No? She immediately proves she isn't worthy? Do it! Okay. Standing in the way of Mike is Karen Strode, who finally realized her mom was right and became the badass she was raised to become. No? She's still trying to calm things down? What are you doing? Get out of my way! Not him! Wow, Ooh. okay. Standing in the way of Mike are two gay pirates and an elderly couple with a drone. Cool. Because <laughs> this was clearly the middle part of a trilogy, and this killer is craving Close some filler door. for Halloween. Do you know what happens to people who come into the Myers home without an invitation? We're not even They scared. die. He stabbed his sister in the t you what? Why is he telling the kid that? Dan McBride helped write these reboots, but it takes someone like Kenny this Powers more like to write a comedy. characters this stupid. Is it a comedy? No, it's a horror. Are you sure? Looks... As all of Haddonfield <laughs> fights back on Halloween night in the dumbest ways possible, whether they're splitting into smaller and smaller groups. Stay here. Okay, so the key is we stick together. Now I'm going in alone. What? Falling for the same tricks what? they did 40 years ago. <laughs> Mistaking a no Danny DeVito lookalike for Michael Myers, even though they all grew up with him and his face is on the news. <laughs> <laughs> it's not him. And showing up to a climactic beatdown in their PJs. Look, that guy brought a hockey stick. Who plays cricket in Haddonfield, Illinois? They got more like clothes iron. Where are all of your guns? <laughs> I think this was America. And you're just gonna leave him there? Not gonna chop him up into pieces or blow the body up like a beach whale? He's just gonna get up again. See, Good. what did I just say? How Good. drunk are you people? Prepare yourself for a film with a message. Are remorseless serial killers what we should be worried about? Or is forming a mob to stop them the real evil? And, like the former, duh, moving on. So enjoy a muddled new installment that tries to strike a balance mm. between the old school scare of the slasher genre, the self aware comedy of the current era. Michael Myers is in a backseat, go look. Go look. Oh, hell no! <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
and social commentary, usually reserved for Jordan Peele or an A24 film about a goat that stands for a miscarriage or whatever. It may not be perfect, what? but it's still a perfect example of a nostalgia-fueled sequel to a reboot made to erase bad sequels that itself is a reboot of the sequels they got rebooted to erase in the first place. And my nose is bleeding again. Great. I totally followed all that. I 100% understood that. The shove. <laughs> Road Rage, a Karen, out a Karen. squeal. <laughs> I did my own research. Lonnie Jenkins. Now I'm going in alone. Officer involved rebooting. The Real Housewives of Haddonfield. Still hard. The Speed School of Hostage Negotiation. <laughs> Better Cameo Saul and Hall of Wieners. <laughs> This is 40 years ago when Michael Myers killed my family. I know, right? That's that's exactly what they should have made. The actual coolest part of this movie? Realistic Donald Pleasant's prosthetics. Wow, say that three times fast. Donald Pleasant's prosthetics, Donald Pleasant's prosthetics, <laughs> Donald Pleasant's prosthetics. Michael Myers, Jason, Freddy, who is the most killingest killer who ever killed. We crunch the numbers to see who's got the highest body count, who's let the most prey slip away, and who's been murked by the most babysitters across their slashing career. Click the thumbnail on the right to find out who wins. This week's Ooh. honest trailer is brought to you by D and D Beyond. Yeah, you got to check that out. <laughs> Next time we'll check that out. Let's check out what's going on for Pitch Pizza now, and let's see how they did, and we'll stack them up and see who did it better. So, you have a Halloween sequel sequel for me? Yes, sir, I <laughs> sequel, do. Sequel. Do you remember in the last movie how Laurie Strode shot two of Michael Myers' fingers off and stabbed him and left him for dead in a house fire? I do, yeah. So at the beginning of this movie, Laurie's going to see some firefighters on their way to the fire and be like, oh, dang it, no. She didn't account for the existence of firefighters when she planned a house fire? <laughs> she didn't, no. So then Michael's going to kill like ten firefighters. A bunch of firefighters in great physical condition get taken out by an eight-fingered 60-year-old with smoke inhalation that's what we're going with because first of all they each take turns attacking him and second of all michael's now surprisingly good at martial arts oh maybe it's what? one of those house fires you keep hearing about that are very you know educational karate wise i might have just made that up maybe so then at the hospital Lori has emergency surgery because michael had stabbed her as well oh that's right and then you're gonna like this she's gonna spend the rest of the movie in a hospital bed barely having anything to do with anything aren't we billing jamie lee curtis as the star of this movie he feels like she should do something. Oh, actually, at a certain point, she is going to get out of bed, but then she's going to be like, ouch, my stitches, and she's going to go back to bed. That works. <laughs> so then we're going to go to a local bar and meet some characters that are having, like, a Halloween talent show. Oh, this is still the same night as the last movie, isn't it? Yeah, it's about an 18-hour night, I'd say. So this guy Tommy an Doyle gets night. on stage, and he's actually the kid that Laurie was babysitting in the 1978 movie. Uh, so what's his talent? Ruining everybody's fun. <laughs> oh, it is. Yeah, he goes on stage, and he's like, I'm not doing any talent thing. I just want to remind everyone that there were murders that happened 40 years ago. Oh, yeah, that guy's a real buzzkill. He is. And then on the bar TV, they're going to see that Michael Myers and this other guy escape from a psychiatric hospital. Oh, so they see his face? They do, yeah. We don't see it because it's blurred to us, but they do. Oh. So Tommy Doyle decides he's going to get a mob together and go kill Michael. Oh, he is? Yeah, he says Michael's been terrorizing this town for 40 years, so evil dies tonight. Where Hasn't Michael been to? locked up? for 40 years after killing three people in the late 70s? <laughs> yeah, just terrorizing the town. So Tommy's like, evil dies tonight. I didn't yeah, catch that. I that. Oh yeah, didn't no, I know. That. About half the lines in here are people saying evil dies tonight. Oh, okay, gotcha. So Tommy goes around recruiting people for his mob, and he's like, we're gonna go murder a guy. You wanna come with? And people are like, yeah, okay. Oh, being easily convinced to do murder is tight. <laughs> right? yeah, so all these people, they're gonna be like, evil dies tonight. Night. Right. So Tommy gets pretty much the whole town together because he's like, there's strength in numbers. Smart. So now that they have the numbers, they all split up into little easy to kill groups. Smart. And at the hospital, Lori's granddaughter, Allison, is like, I'm going to go join a mob and find Michael and kill him because evil dies tonight. Okay. But her mom, Karen, is like, no, Allison, Michael's definitely on his way to the hospital to kill Lori. So for you to be safe, you should stay in the hospital. Oh, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I'm just kind of filling time.
time between kills. I'm hoping nobody pays attention to this stuff. Yeah, fingers crossed. So then for most of the movie, we're going to kind of meet characters for a little bit, and then they're going to die horrible deaths. Wait, so who's the protagonist in this thing? Pass. That's fine. And so then eventually the mom finds out that one of the escape patients is in the hospital. So they're like, oh my, that's, that's got to be Michael. We got to kill him. Is it Michael? No, it's not. It's this short little balding guy running around screaming, help me, please help me. So they realize that's not the seven foot tall man whose face they just saw on TV. No, they're still pretty convinced it's him. Oh. So the mob chases this guy down and he gets so scared he jumps off the hospital and dies. Oh my God. And so meanwhile, the real Michael Myers goes back to his childhood home and there's this couple living there, Big John and Little John. Uh oh. So one of them sees a bloody <laughs> handprint on the wall next to their open back door. So they're like, oh my God, somebody's in the house. So they call the cops. Well, no, they close the door and <laughs> split up and start checking rooms separately. <laughs> also a decent strategy. Yeah, you'd think that would work, but it doesn't and they both die. Oh. And then this guy, Naturally. Lonnie and his son and also Allison, they figure out that this is where Michael went. So they head over there. They How don't they alert the that? rest of the mob or the police. Nope, they head over alone. Nothing wrong with that. So then they get there and Lonnie's like, you two need to stay safe. So I'm going to go in alone. Smart as well. <laughs> sure. So he goes into the house and immediately screams. So his son and Allison, they go in as well. Oh, immediately disregarding the strategy. That's the idea. So then Michael kills the guy. Well, there was no way to see that coming. Agreed. And then he's about <laughs> to kill Allison, but Karen pops out and stabs him in the back with a pitchfork and stomps on his head while he's down. Oh my God. Yeah, it's badass. So does she stab him another couple times, make sure he's dead? No, 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 no. She walks out onto the street and she's like, hey, Michael, if you want to kill someone tonight, kill me. But she has him stabbed and on the floor. Yeah, so she uses that opportunity to lure him outside. Well, okay mm -hmm. then. So then he gets up and follows her outside and the whole mob is waiting for him. Oh. And the mob is like, evil dies tonight. That does sound like them. And they're all <laughs> geared up with weapons. What kind of weapons are we talking? We're talking Not hockey gun. stick, baseball bat, <laughs> couple knives, brass knuckles. No, nope. don't people have guns? Well, a couple, but not really, you know. This is small town America. They, they don't really have guns. <laughs> anyway, so now it's Michael versus know, right? a big mob of people. Oh man, it's gonna be impossible for him to beat those numbers. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Super easy barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? You see, they shoot and stab him in a couple of non-lethal areas, and then they're like, hey, we did it, gang. He, we, he's dead for sure. Nobody goes for a headshot? They don't, no. So then Michael gets up. How, though? I mean, even with crappy weapons, they should have enough people to take him down. Well, see, they do like the firefighters and they attack one at a time and those who do have guns try to fire them within grabbing range. Oh, these people are terrible at staying alive. They are. So then Karen goes inside <laughs> Michael's house and looks out the window and then he pops out and kills her. Aren't there any police around? Oh yeah, there's a ton of cops, but Michael sneaks around them off screen, which means I don't need to explain how that happened. Oh, is that how writing works? <laughs> it is. Neat. And then we're also going to say that with every kill, Michael gets more powerful. So he's like supernatural? Maybe. I don't know. Okay. Oh, and also we're going to say that Michael never actually cared about Laurie Strode. He just wanted to go home. Oh. All right. So then in the next Friends movie, Halloween home. Ends, we're going to have the big showdown between Laurie and Michael. And you just said he doesn't really give a crap about her at all? That's right. So that's... That's the stage you've set for yourself. Exactly. We're going to keep it focused on that epic showdown in which one of the parties doesn't really care. Sure, you got to keep it focused. Yeah. But then also <laughs> just kind of throw a bunch of other gimmicks in there too, I think. Well, sure. Oh, yeah, it's jump <laughs> Hey, everybody. Ryan here. That's me. Thanks for watching. Well, I have no idea who won that one. What do you think? What was your favorite part? What was your favorite part? Let's start it off that way. The thing I like about bitch meeting is the fact that they went into more detail and I was able to follow it more rather than having them go like on his trailers they go so quick mm -hmm. and it's kind of hard to like for me anyways to keep up with it but with pitch meeting I can like easily follow along how the movie goes like with the honest trailers I thought I really thought it was a comedy <laughs> like, <laughs> they were supposed like, to be a comedy he was no like honest trailers was making it a comedy like he was saying funny things about the mm -hmm. movie and stuff Whereas, when I was watching Pitch Meeting, I understood that it was actually meant to be a horror movie. Yeah, oh, Because I okay. could follow along. Because you could follow along a lot Right? Better. You know what? You know why I go with Honest Trailer? I am going with Honest Trailer with this one. Because this one is tough. This one is actually the toughest one I've ever seen. Because we watched them back to back, and mind you mean, we, we've yet to watch the movie yet. We haven't seen the movie, so this kind of spoiled it for us. Um, you, have you seen any of the Halloweens? No that I remember, maybe I don't, like one. <laughs> no, I, I remember seeing the first one briefly. Yeah. But 
I didn't watch it. I was never into the Halloween. I was yeah. always into like Jason, Chucky, and Freddy. Those were the big yeah. three yeah. for me. But Halloween, it was never like a thing for me. I was like, we were going to sit down and watch it tonight. But nah. life happens. <laughs> so it got spoiled for us. But we'll still, I'll still check it out. Honestly speaking, I really prefer an Honest Trail. I'll go with yeah. Honest Trailer for this one. What about you? Pitch Meeting. Pitch Meeting? Pitch Meeting. So pitch meeting. Honest Trailer, Ali picked Pitch Meeting. I went with Honest Trailer. But who do you think did it better? Pitch Meeting or Honest Trailer? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, my name is Will. I'm Ali. And don't forget, where there's a will, there's a way. Stay gold, my friends. And thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>